right. Keep it going for Billy and all the comics you saw. Right? Yeah. I flew in from Vegas on Frontier, and I haven't smoked, so I'm sure you guys know my fucking mood right now. <laughs> I love this. Do we have married couples? Married couples make some noise. Let me... Don't be too excited. Cool. <laughs> you seem like a very sweet couple. All right, so what's your name? Matt. Matt, what's your lady's name? Amy. Amy, all right, Amy. How long have you guys been together for? 24 years. 24 years? You're not 24 years! <laughs> 24 years ago, what about Amy? Were you like, I want that? <laughs> One thing, 24 years ago, why was she the apple of your eye? It was her big hooters. <laughs> Damn hooters! Papa like them titties! I figured it was even that or that ass, you know? It's, that turd cutter's impeccable, I love that shit. Oh, Everyone's got a type, Big Hooters, I like that, that's just cool. I, I like me a different type, I like me a feisty, grumpy, tough woman. Yeah, it's sexy as fuck to me, right? Those, I don't need big boobs, I just need someone that's gonna yell at Trader Joe's for having 11 items in a time I never lost five. That's, that's better than Viagra, I'm telling you, I can hang wet towels on my shit, that's how hot it is. My record's three, by the way, that's hot. No, I just don't want them to just do it like in, in private, I want them to do it in public, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven. Huh. 11 items, that's still not what the sign says. It says 10 items, but you have 11. Look, no, 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 yo, you brought me to this store. No, 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 no. You know I hate coming to this one. I hate coming here because no one follows the rules, and I don't know why we're following the rules. You know what? I don't like this. I'd rather go to the one down the street. They have better prices. They have more self-checkout. You know that works for me because now we're stuck behind this dumb bitch that can't fucking count. And I'm like, are you serious right now? We're in public. People are staring at us. And she's like, why am I embarrassing you? Are you embarrassed of me now? And I'm like, no, I'm hard as fuck. I'm about to tear through my jeans. Relax, lady, all right? <laughs> Call me your tits before I come on them, right, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. I like it. It's just something sexy about it. I don't know, right? Like, I'm dating a woman now. She's from San Francisco. So politics, obviously, a big topic. And Right? She came in furious one day. She was watching the debate. She came into my room. She's like, oh my god, did you hear what the asshole just said on TV? Did you hear what he had to say? He said they're eating cats. He said they're eating dogs. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what the problem is. I want to eat your pussy right now. What the fuck? <laughs> Quit stomping around. You're giving me a hard on, bitch. Get in the bedroom. Come on. <laughs> I don't care what side of the spectrum you're on. I'll choke you to your blue and make you come to your red. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> That was a bipartisan joke. <laughs> uh, we had a lot of failed marriages on the stage. I was also previously married. <laughs> Mine's a little different though. I actually lost my wife a few years ago. I appreciate that. I always wait for the Oz. The Oz used to bother me because I wasn't sure what it was. But it just sounds like my haunted apartment now, and it freaks me the fuck out. <laughs> oh, go to Trader Joe's. <laughs> it's been a few years, and I get the reaction, because I'm young. There's not a lot of young widowers running around, and my millennial friends don't know how to talk to me about just normal things that I'm going through. Like, I try to get back on the apps to date again. My friend Brian, he's a good-looking dude. He's on the apps. I thought he was going to give me good, solid, single advice. Like, go. Fuck. Use your dick. You've been through a lot. <laughs> just do whatever. Just wear a condom, bro. Just do whatever you want. It's not the advice Brian gave me. <laughs> Said he panicked. He tried to make it better for me, and it just made it more uncomfortable. He's like, stay off all of it. Stay off of all this shit. <laughs> it's awful. It's awful. Because what happens is you go on dates with these girls. You have a great time. You take them to Cheesecake Factory. You think they're having a great time. You text them the next day. They end up ghosting you. And I don't think you can handle that. <laughs> I'm like, Brian, I'm the expert at being ghosted. Thank you! I gotta look at the pros and cons, right, old people, right? Like, being ghosted isn't that bad, okay? Like, I gotta look at the positives, all right? Women date young widowers because I'm telling you, one, we can fold towels. That's a plus. Two, 
two, you don't have to get worried about me getting drunk, picking up my phone, and texting my ex. <laughs> I gotta pull the Ouija board off the shelf to talk to my Yeah, Matt, do you know how difficult it is to send a dick pic on a Ouija board? It's... I have to invite a friend over, unravel it on the board, trace it with a magnifying glass. see a picture of your butt. <laughs> and then the board would flip over. It's crazy. Uh, it was hard though. It's, it, they, I get it. I get my friends trying to make things better for me because they don't know what to do. They panic. But again, it makes it more awkward. And I'm in my fun era now, so now I just have fun with it. I make it more uncomfortable for them. And I just laugh about it later. Like I went to my old roommate's house the other day to watch a movie. Ten minutes into the movie, the main character's wife passed away. Yeah. And then Derek shut the movie off. <laughs> Bad enough, but he didn't put anything else on for 16 minutes and 37 seconds. I timed it the whole staring at a blank screen. Again, I know why he did it. Some of you guys might do the same thing. I understand that. But under my fun era, like I said, I'm gonna ask Derek why he turned the movie off. Hey, I was enjoying that. Is the TV broken? Is that oh you have a work call. I was enjoying that movie. Oh, um, oh, I, uh, I saw that the main character's wife died in the movie, and then I just looked at you, and I didn't know what you were going to do. I'm like, Derek, we're watching Finding Nemo. <laughs> what the hell did you think I was going to do? Go on a magical adventure with a fish that forgets everything? That sounds way better than what the hell we're doing right now. <laughs> Sitting in silence with gluten-free snacks, nobody wants this shit. <laughs> Can we put up on next? I heard that's good. <laughs> oh. uh, that's why I tell these jokes before we get high so we can recover afterwards. <laughs> uh, it's hard being a millennial winner though, because it's like not normal things that fuck me up. It's not like movies or songs or dating. You know what messes me up every day? Amazon Prime. Because I go on that shit and I get suggested buys for three packs of urns. At a 30% discount, by the way. Half of me, super offended, just like you guys. Like, oh my god. What does Amazon know that I don't know? This is horrific. But the Jewish half of me was like, add to cart, that's a really good deal. Yeah. You know your mother would be furious if you didn't bury her in the complimentary urn. You know this. And make sure you use your Southwest card too. You want those travel miles. That's some millennial math right there. But as some talk about, some got remarried, okay? I don't want to remarry. And people always want to ask me why not, you know? And I always tell them, I just don't. It's just not my thing. But then one time, I got a follow-up question. They were like, why not? Are you afraid that if you get married again, there's a chance that you get hurt again? No. <laughs> I'm afraid. I really am. And it's for a dumb reason, but it is my reason. I'm afraid because if you have one dead wife, you get sympathy. If you have a second dead wife, you get investigated for real. Every single time, like, I want a Netflix comedy special, not a Dateline special. Are you insane? I can even hear the opening narration to my Dateline special. I can hear it in my head. It'd be very ominous. Okay, I'd be like, if you were as innocent as he claims he is, then why did he buy the three pack of urns off of Amazon? <laughs> Two dead wives, don't you know, small. I'm in spirit, guys. Let's go get high. Bye.